Welcome back to my channel's loves. I'm Roshana and today I am back with another video. Today I'm showing you guys how I cut and styled this curly bob hair. This hair is from the Euro Hair. Everything about them will be in the description box down below. Guys, let me tell you, the difference of how this hair looks is so crazy. I absolutely love it. But guys, are you ready to get into this video? Are you ready to see how this hair looked at first? Okay, let's go. So this is what it looks like at first. It was, you know, it was okay. I wasn't really feeling the different length, so I decided I was going to cut it. So you're going to need a plastic bag and a scissor for this. So here I'm just figuring out exactly how short I want it to be. I'm cutting it a little longer than I need to, just to make sure I don't accidentally cut it too short. And guys, this was actually really fast and really easy to do. Cutting curly hair is like easy. It's like so easy, I can't even explain it. So you want to make sure you're also getting the back as well, because there's little random pieces that you thought you got and you actually didn't get. So I'm just making sure I got the whole half side. As you can see, I'm finding little pieces that I didn't cut. So you just want to make sure you cut all of the hair and don't miss any pieces. So now moving on to the next side, I'm just going to repeat the same steps. Only thing, I'm going to make sure I cut this one even longer, if that makes sense, because I want it to match the other side. So I'm not trying to make it the exact length because I don't want one being shorter than the other. So right now I'm just going to cut it and then I'm going to perfect it afterwards to make it match the other side. So let's talk a little more about this hair. This hair is from the Euro Hair. It's the Brazilian Curly Hair. And it was three bundles plus a closure. It was 16, 18, and 20 bundles. And then the closure was 14 inches. As you can see, I don't like the layered length on curly hair. I feel like it doesn't look good. So I decided to cut it. And actually, I'm so glad with the results that I did cut it. It was way better short. So now I'm just going back and finding some pieces and just trying to make it all the same length or at least close to the same length now. And as you guys can see, this is what it looks like. Look at the difference. It's insane. So now I'm going to get into styling this to make sure that the curls pop and that I tame the curls and just detangle it. And this is the new look, you guys. I can't believe it's so short and I absolutely love it already. So now I'm going in with my water bottle, my spray bottle, sorry. <laughs> And I'm just going to spray this all over my hair and this is just going to help me detangle the hair and be able to put this on. So the water is just loosening up the curls and making it easy for me to finger comb through. I suggest finger combing with this, not using a regular comb to comb through these curls because you don't want to mess up the curl pattern. And you don't want the hair to get frizzy either, I just want to detangle the hair. So as I'm detangling it, you can see some strands are starting to like come out and like all the long ones that I didn't cut. They're showing so now I can cut it to the same length. So I definitely recommend this step if you do decide to cut any curly hair into a bob. So as you guys can see, this hair looks way more tame than the other side. We're going to go ahead and work on that side. And then we're also going to add some product. And we're really just going to style the whole thing. And you guys are going to see how amazing it's going to look. So now I'm just spraying water all around. I don't want to miss any spots. I want to make sure I really damp up the hair. So now that both sides are damp, I'm just going to cut any axis hair that is way too long and just going to trim it basically. Guys, I'm already falling in love with this. I was like so excited when I realized that it looked so great. Look at it. It's like the perfect length. So like I said, I'm just damping the hair. I want it to be really damp because when it's damp and then you add the product it, and then it dries, it's not going to be as frizzy. It's not going to be as crazy. And I really like to keep my hair tamed and have my curly hair laid. So now I'm going in with my olive oil detangling spray. I'm going to spray this all over my head. And this is just going to keep the curls from tangling up. It's just going to make sure that it does not tangle up and that the hair is just easy to work through throughout the whole entire day. So now going in with my foam first memory styling foam and it's basically just like a mousse. I'm going to drench this all over my head because this is going to keep my hair laid. These are going to help form the curls even better. I definitely recommend this step if you are going to do this. This is really just going to help tame the hair completely. Once I did this step, the hair was just tame and it's good for the rest of the day. So you don't have to use as much product as me, but I definitely recommend it if you really want your hair to be laid. So now this is what it looks like when I have the mousse in. Now going in with my Styling Wet Look Gel. 
and this is just gonna create that wet look even when your hair is dry so this is perfect for curls and I'm just gonna scrunch my hair up this is mostly for the bottom because I just want it to have that curl pattern at the bottom and really just hold its curl it's not really to put on the hair by itself so now I'm going to take my curling wand and this is just going to lay the top of my hair down because like I said, I like my curly hair to be laid. I don't like it all crazy. Now if you don't like your curly hair laid, then you can skip this step. But I really do like my curly hair to look just like laid and have everything in the right place. So I definitely recommend this step if that's what you like as well. And now guys, this is the final look. I'm so in love with how this hair came out. I can't even believe that this is what... I can't even remember what it looked like at the beginning, like it's crazy. This came out the perfect length, the curls are so, oh my god, they're popping, like look at those curls. The curls look amazing, it is the perfect length. All I did was pluck the part and put some concealer in the part and I am good to go you guys. I absolutely love this look. Everything about you will hair will be in the description box down below, make sure you go check them out. And I love if you watch till the end, I will see you guys in my next video.